Join more than 600 young runners this weekend for Girls on the Run in Frisco. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. First, friends and family of Eric Duby are mourning the loss of a man they call the best of us. On Friday, the Howard Head physical therapist was mountain biking in Moab when he died of a genetic heart condition. He was riding on Captain Ahab Trail south of town with three friends. The Summit Daily reports that Doobie's family will host a memorial this Saturday in Chicopee, Massachusetts, near his family home. Friends in Breckenridge are planning a local memorial. Stay tuned for details on that in the coming days. If you can't make either one, the family is asking for donations in Eric's name to the Summit Foundation. You can donate online through summitfoundation.org. The Summit Combined Housing Authority is hosting a free renter's workshop this Thursday for anyone and everyone who is new to the local renter's market. The workshop includes a Q&A session with a local lawyer who can answer questions about fair housing practices, including tenants' rights, service animals, and more. The workshop runs from 2 to 4 p.m. in the Buffalo Room at the County Commons Building in Frisco. It is free and open to all, but the Housing Authority is asking for RSVPs. Send those to info at summithousing.us. Archaeologists at the Great Pyramid in Egypt have made the first new discovery since the 1800s, a hidden chamber they're calling a void. Why the name? Because scientists still aren't sure why it's there or what is inside. National Geographic reports that the newly discovered void sits directly above the Grand Gallery, a 26-foot-tall chamber that leads to the burial site of Khufu, the pharaoh who ordered the Great Pyramid built from 2.3 million limestone blocks more than 4,000 years ago. Scientists discovered the void chamber using new particle physics technology. Their full report was recently published in the science journal Nature. Also in international news, a Japanese woman known as the Black Widow was sentenced to death by hanging for killing four elderly men with arsenic. The Washington Post reports that a judge recently sentenced Shisako Kakehi to hanging for the murder of her 75-year-old husband. During that trial, she admitted to killing her previous three husbands to collect insurance and inheritance money. All were over the age of 70, and the Black Widow collected nearly $8.8 million in payouts after poisoning each one with an arsenic drink. She told them it was for their health. And a reminder that completed ballots are due today at one of the drop boxes across the county by 7 p.m. Find boxes at Dillon Town Hall, Frisco Town Hall, the North Branch Library in Silverthorne, the May Branch Library in Frisco, or the Old County Courthouse in Breckenridge. Also today, all four lanes of traffic through Farmer's Corner between Frisco and Breckenridge will be open by 3 p.m. The county and CDOT are hosting a ribbon cutting at 2 p.m. We'll be there with details at the 4 and 5 o'clock broadcast. This weekend, the Girls on the Run 5K is back for a third year on Saturday when more than 600 elementary-aged runners from across the state come to Frisco for a 5K on the Frisco Rec Path. The race gets started at 11 a.m. Registration is still open for this year's event, and parents are welcome. Cost is $25 per runner until Wednesday online or $35 on race day. To sign up, see gotrwesterncolorado.org. In sports, the Nuggets play the Nets tonight at 7 p.m. on Altitude. Vegas has the Nuggets winning by 11 and a half points. In local sports, brought to you by Dillon Ridge Liquors, the Summit Tigers girls rugby team is getting ready for the State Sevens Tournament in Broomfield on Saturday. The team is undefeated against in-state teams this season and is looking to claim a 10th consecutive state championship. Tune in on Friday for interviews with head coach Carl Barth and his team. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News.